Hello, everybody, wherever you may be from coast to coast and sea to shiny sea. Welcome back to the shack. It's Ham Radio Live. Happy Saturday, the 18th day of September 2021. So good to see you. We're thrilled. This is going to be a fun show. Again, double the trivia point answers today for these two trivia questions. Plus, we'll talk about what you can do when you can't work from home. Somebody who puts a lot of work into making calls and it pays off for them. You could learn from it. Plus, we'll try and make the first call ever that I've made at least on the ICOM 7610. I'm looking forward to this. I wanted to save that first call that we could all do it together. From the four winds of the world, here we go, and away we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Shack in Oregon. It's good to see you guys. Happy Saturday. Sunday, west of the Dateline. It's a beautiful day, and it's a great day to see you. I was excited to come today. It really was. was. Looking forward to it. It's going to be so much fun. This will be. We got double trivia questions, twice the points, plus we're going to show you what to do if you can't work from home. A great viewer who also is a great you know, pal of this channel has sent some wonderful videos to me over the last year. And I wanted to share a little bit of his love and how much he works to be able to make calls. It's pretty inspiring. First of all, in the house, welcome to Cliff Bolts. First in, <laughs> welcome Cliff. <laughs> William Myers, sorry, well. <laughs> sorry, well. Happy Saturday, mate. His call sign is Kilo Alpha 8 Golf India Mike. He's out of Wisconsin. <laughs> wow. It's already starting good. Hi, Bob. Bob today likes the letter H, and that's great. That's my brother. He's a courtesy of WIFI. Hello, brothers. Good to see you. Thank you for coming. The whole purpose of what we do here is to help you get an amateur radio. It's a radio show, but it's about radio, and it's about trying to encourage you that you can pass your test. Don't make it about math questions or you don't retain things. You can pass your test. You can. Get a hold of one of these radio clubs, and they'll help you. Hit the Contact Us bar. They'll find a radio club that's close by to you. You can contact that radio club and they'll help you get licensed. How easy is that? First one is the American Radio Relay League. Find them online at www.arl.org. If you're in the UK, the Radio Society of Great Britain at www.rsgb.org. In Canada, the Radio Amateurs of Canada, www.rac.ca. In Japan, the Japan Amateur Radio League at www.jarl.org. If our mates where the kookaburros are driving them crazy. Yeah, I've heard they're pretty loud right now. Spring is coming. Almost. Literally, it's about spring now. So if you're in Australia or Tasmania, like Ron is, as we talked to yesterday, Hit up the Wireless Institute of Australia, www.wia.org. If you'd like to email the show, hit us up. If you have a show suggestion, a question about a product, maybe a question about getting into ham radio, we can help you there. Find me at CQ, hamradiolife at gmail.com. If you'd like to help out the channel with our mission to try and raise awareness, plus also to try and help encourage people to get on the air, plus help them with practical ways to do so. Please do so at PayPal at proverbs 356 at me.com. And we have a Patreon page at Ham Radio Live, and I'm grateful for all of you folks who give money there. You have no idea how important that is right now with a possible move all the way to Arizona. You have no idea. So thank you to all of you for doing that. Thank you. Thank you. Sincerely. Sorry, I was a little hot. That, that means the world to me. We're going to say some quick hellos before we get going. I'd like to, first of all, thank... William Myers for being patient with me. <laughs> Thanks, Will. Yeah, 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 I know who you are. Anyway, William Myers, bless his heart. He says, uh, just made my second QSO to the Route 66 QSO contest out of Flagstaff, Arizona. Congratulations, man. That's a great call from Wisconsin. Well done, Will. Well done. Wow. Hey, my, my father-in-law is here from Tracy, California. His call sign, Kilo India 6. Sorry, Kilo November 6, India Ocean Papa Dad, welcome. <laughs> it's good to see you, Dad. Good to see you. No news yet from Mayo Clinic. Um, he's aware of what's going on with the family, and he's concerned. He really is. So I hope you're having fun in Nevada. Our best to Bonnie and her family. I hope you're having fun, Dad. We sure miss you. And uh, man, oh, man, not sure what we're going to do here. We got a lot of stuff boxed up. She can see behind me. Shack is getting boxed up. Mayo Clinic is supposed to contact us next week. Early next week, we'll find out if they can help my brother with his cancer. And if so, we have to move immediately 
to Arizona. So it's going to be a big move. We'll see how it goes. First of all, Ray Novak going to be part of the RSGB convention. This is going to, they're going to be have two streams, okay? Two streams on YouTube. One of them, they're going to be having Andrew Barron, Zulu Lima 3, Delta Whiskey. Going to talk about SDR. We might just, you know, change your mind about what you think about SDRs. Plus our buddy Ray Novak. Yeah, November 9th, Juliet Alpha. Going to be part of that as well. Talking about the expeditions that don't break the bank. And what's cool is Ray's going to come to our channel in October after giving that, you know, that nice presentation. He's going to present it to us. How about that? And answer your questions about Icon products too. That is so doggone cool. We're looking forward to that very, very much. Don't forget the Route 66 contest. This is cool. They're working out of San Bernardino, California. Whiskey 6, Juliet Bravo Tango is the call sign. Look for that. They're on uh, 80 meters, 75 technique at 3.866. On 40 at 7.266. 20 meters at 14.266. And 10 at 28.466. Get the 66 at the end? <laughs> Route 66. All right. Today and uh, through tomorrow, WBZ AM 1030's 100th anniversary call sign to look for. There are three of them, Whiskey One Whiskey, Whiskey One Bravo, or Whiskey One Zulu. Look for those. They are celebrating WBZ Boston's 100th anniversary. Give me on uh, 17 meters at 18.150, on 20 at 14.250, on 40 at 7.275, and on 75 at 3.950. We've got a trivia question. Now remember, points are doubled. Just like yesterday, points are doubled. So right now, North America has 11, Europe with nine, Australia with three. First question, which state in the eighth U.S. call district is not in the U.S. call district? Which one is not in the eighth U.S. call district? Is it A, Indiana, B, West Virginia, C, Ohio, D, Michigan. Get your maps out. Quickly look. A, B, C, or D. First one in tells me the right answer. You're in for the score today. Congratulations. A lot of QSO parties going on this weekend, including the Washington State Salmon Run. They'll be on 160 to 2 meters. A lot of people work in that one right now, so certainly a great opportunity for you to work. If you like POTA, Wisconsin Parks in the Air is going on right now. 80, 40, 20, 15, 10, 6, and 2. Look for them. The Iowa QSO Party is going on right now. They're on CW, phone, and digital everywhere except the workmans in 60 meters. New Jersey's got a QSO party going this weekend. 80, 40, 20, 15, and 10 meters. Look for them. And the big Texas QSO party is going on right now. They're going to be on all bands except for the work bands. Look for the Texas QSO party. All right. Now, let's see if we got some. Oh, my goodness gracious. I've got some people that I need to welcome before we get further. Uh, this is, the, wow. Holy cow. First of all, Thank you for coming from the Netherlands. Papa Delta 7, Mike Victor, first timer. It is my honor and privilege to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. You know, I think of the distance, right? How far away you are and that you're here. And it means a lot. So thank you. That's really sincere. Thank you for coming today. Our third continent in the house, Glenn Stevenson from Australia. Welcome, mate. Good to see you. Good after, good morning to you there. We have Europe, North America, and Australia in the house. And Glenn, on the trivia question, which is this. Excuse me. Got so many trivia questions in here. Got the wrong one. Here we go. Which state in the U.S. 8th call district? Remember, this is the 8th call district, so grab your maps. <laughs> Eighth call district. Which one is not in the eighth call district? Is it A, Indiana? Is it B, West Virginia? Is it C, Ohio? Or D, Michigan? Okay. Eighth call district. Which of these is not there? All right. First person to come in, my mate Glenn Stevenson with C, Ohio. Nope. Ohio is part of number eight. It is. Yep. So we've got now. A, B, or D. A, B, or D. That's all you got left. And then you can get it right. We want you to get the points, dog. Got it? Because they're double the points right now. And uh, the folks in North America have a very slim lead currently. They really do. Uh, they lead now 11 to 9 over Europe, 3 for our mates in Australia. By the way, another VK in here. VK Radio I have. Welcome. Good, good to see you. Good to see you. All right. Here's a trivia question. Which state is not 
in the eighth U.S. call district. <laughs> I didn't think it'd be this one this, this hard. Eh. Oh, well, I can't do it. All right. Let's get another answer here. We've got uh, Will Myers, Kilo Alpha 8 Golf India Mike from the state of Wisconsin. He says A, and he is 100% correct. Good job. Yep, Indiana. That's it. Let's take a look. Here's what a call district looks like. There's number eight. You see Michigan, Ohio, West Virginia, but Indiana is part of call district nine. Nine has Wisconsin, Illinois, and Indiana. So that's why the answer is the way it is. So congratulations, Will. That is now 14. Excuse me. We had uh, 12. Yeah, 12, nine, and three. So now it is 14 to nine North America. Let's see what you guys can do with the second trivia questions coming up shortly. Let's take a look at the weather first, powered by ICOM. ICOM, for the love of Hammond Shortwave Radio, A1A today looks totally dead, and, and it is. Unfortunately, there's no sunspots. But take a look. If you take a look down around 8 o'clock on the sun, you see those bright spots? They're coming, and they're going to make an impact for our radio conditions coming up. Solar flares, nothing happening right now. Even the stability of the sun the last few days has been pretty solid. K index, quiet. That's good. K1 is real good. That means noise floors would be very, very quiet. Maximum usable frequencies from about four hours ago. It looked like this. Alaska, 11.88. See how the seasons have changed. We're now almost to fall, so Alaska's dropping. They just don't have the sunlight there. Boulder, Colorado, it was at 20.04, but look at the mid-latitudes. Look, take a look at Brazil, 27.15. You go to Ascension Island near Africa, 31.84. Mid-latitudes are really hot. Athens, Greece was at 18.6, and Darwin, Australia, 12.22, current MUFs. Alaska, 14.42. So now they're, they're able to, you know, use 20 meters. Boulder is down to 19.88. Look at, look at the middle mid-latitudes again. Take a look. Brazil, 27.37. Ascension Island still hanging in there, 29.940. And the reason why they're still at 29.40 is because we're right now at just about the time when spring, uh, sorry, when fall comes in from summer here in the north and the south from winter to spring. So, you know, it's it's equal. The, 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 the sun is almost equal on both sides, real close. So that's why we have a map that looks this way. And that's why the mid-latitudes have real strong MUFs. Darwin, Australia is waking up right now to 8.68 megahertz. Current conditions out of Boulder, Colorado, SFI 74. K index way up there at 24. That's pretty high. K of 1, everything looks pretty good. 40 meters, probably your best bet on HF. MUF out of Boulder time was 18.99. And moon bouncers, by the way, you can do some good moon bouncing today. Shortwave and ham forecast for today. Powered by ICOM. ICOM for the love of ham and shortwave radio. Daytime, ham bands today, 20, 17, 15 for voice in the northern hemisphere. Equatorial latitude, you get 20, 17, 15, 12, and possible 10. I think 12 and 10 are definitely there. Southern hemisphere today. 20, 17, 15, 12, and possible 10. Data will work 30 to 10, all latitudes. Nighttime hand bands, 160, 80, 75, 60, 40, 30. And take a look, there's a change now. Best DX on 40 meters. Reason why, autumn, spring equinox is basically here. Lower band switch for best DX. That's where they're going to be. Your best DX is going to be now on 40. We're at the equinox. So that's why. So the same amount of sun, north and south. Go to 40. Shortwave bands today, 31, 25, 22, and 19. Shortwave by tonight, you've got 120, 90, 75, 60, 49, 41, 31, 25 meters, and 22 meters. And still a 50% chance of hearing 19 meters till about a half hour or so after sunset. Then those signals are going to fade away. All right. Welcome to the show, everybody. I'll give you trivia question number two. Got more folks in here from around the world. And a quick hello. Mike joins us from Jacksonville, Florida. Welcome, Mike. Good to see you. You still have a chance to trivia question number two. <laughs> yeah, we saved one for you. We did. It's double points today. Double points. Trivia question number two. By the way, North America now with 12. Europe with nine. Australia with three. Trivia question two. A double V beam antenna. Best describes a... So, a double V beam antenna. What is it known as? Okay. A a log periodic beam, B, a Sturba curtain, 
C, a Yagi beam, or D, a rhombic beam. If you think about this, from the old days of W1AW, when they first came on the air before the, you know, the changeover to the new building, okay, when they first changed over, they used this kind of antenna. They did. Excuse me, help them work into Europe. So the question today, double V beam antenna. Best describes A, a log periodic beam, B, a sturba curtain, C, a Yagi beam, D, a rhombic beam. Mike says A is the answer, log periodic beam. Incorrect. Sorry, my friend. Glenn Stevenson from Australia, C, a Yagi beam. Nope, not a Yagi beam. Not it. So we still got B or D. See if we can get the right answer and we'll get going. Mike comes in now from Jacksonville, Florida, Kilo Delta 2, Sierra X ray Delta with A. Log periodic beam? No, that's not it. Will Myers, Kilo Alpha 8, Golf India Mike says, D is my guess, and that's a pretty doggone good guess. You're right. <laughs> yeah, it's a rhombic beam. Yep, that's a tough one. So U.S., uh, North America, the whole continent up here, we got, uh, we got 14 points now. And uh, Europe still with nine. And my mates in Australia, who I'm pulled for real hard, you guys have a total of three. Welcome to the show. It's so good to see you guys. Man, I have missed you guys. And I was. I was thinking about y'all today. I was like, gosh, I can't wait to the show. And it's, you know, it's fun because I, I look forward to this. This is a great time to spend with all of you. All right. So we got a lot of folks that watch the channel and can't, you know, work from home. And the reason why they can't <laughs> will. <laughs> Woohoo! Congratulations on getting it right. That's awesome. They can't work from home. They work, you know, like they live like in the middle floor of like a tall building, right? Say they live on the third or fourth floor and they, you know, got people all around them. They can't put an antenna up. There's no way to work. So the only way they can really stay on the air is to move. They have to move their gear somewhere to work. It does take a lot of effort and takes a lot of time. One of our mates from the channel, Gunter DK5ONV, does this a lot. Let me share with you a little bit of his video journey that he takes just to be able to work ham radio. Hey, Simon, May Chan, DK5, ONV, in the sunset, on the way to the northeastern hills area with the spike. Uh, a quarter mile and I'm there. I'm on the peak right now. I'm on the peaks, a quarter mile behind that bushes. There's the old water resort. I'm in a hell of a hurry. Need to get my antenna up. Temperature is still, well, probably 75 degrees, but the temperature is dropping immediately now. So first thing I do before I touch down at my place, get my long sleeve sweater on, my hoodie sweater, and then install my antenna. I'm not at the, at the live stream tonight, Larry. I'm sorry. Maybe I say hi real quick uh, <laughs> from out in the fields. 73 is TK5 ONV. Almost, almost, almost there. Look at that. See all the stuff out. he has behind him. Isn't that something? That's Gunter DK5 ONV just working tons of stuff. And he carries it. He literally pulls it with his bike. Here's the next step of him getting to where he's trying to work. Off the main road, there's the water resort. Uh, Dude, no E-driven, muscle-driven, no electric motor, Uncle Gunther's a motor. Pretty much, pretty much no one here. Normally there's people here in the evening at the dog handler's place, the dog educating places at the K9s. So, yeah. Everything there, everything's still there. You checked it, my trailer, my mask, my radio. Okay. <laughs> then we can have fun tonight. So he's still smiling. Yeah. Look at that. And All he's right. doing a video while riding a bike. From Panorama, Mother Nature. I'll take that way. And Mike, that's a great idea, man. Balcony mount that high, yeah. It's beautiful up here. So all the fields are gone. 
harvesting. Just listen to how hard he's working that bike. Jeez. Ooh. Okay, folks. I see you later on. DK5. Owen we. Owen. Bye for now. <laughs> That's Gunter, DK5 Owen V. And he's working the hillside because he can't work from home. Mike just got a good comment. Love this comment. He said, that'll be my issue when I go home to New York City. My parents' house is 20 floors up. Might try a balcony mount when I get there. Mike, that's a great idea. It really is. You know, I got to tell you, for, for something like that, really like it because it's simple, easy to put in and out, and it, work, it works brilliantly. Alpha Hex antenna. Seriously, it's a great antenna. It really is, and it just works. And it'll work up to 1,500 watts. It's an amazing antenna. And you can put on a balcony on their tripod. Pretty cool. So Gunter gets all the way. Now, keep in mind, he has already ridden that bike a total of three miles by the time he gets there. Most of it uphill, just to be on the air. And here he is working in the dark. Larry, this is Foxtrot Golf 5 Golf Papa. Alan in Guadeloupe. Wait a second. You get it. So there's Gunter in the middle of the night working DX. He's a part of the big gun net, and, and he brings his ICOM 7200 out in the field. He puts a spider beam vertical up. He gets it all set up, and he'll be out there in the cold. He'll be out there in the heat, beating mosquitoes off of him, all that stuff. And a lot of times, things just don't go well. You know, it just happens, right? Well, let's take a look at when Gunter makes a really good call, which he makes a lot of. Here's Gunter. Check this out. Special call sign. Trinidad. Delta Kilo 5, Oscar, November, Victor, Stroke, Portable, over. Delta Kilo number five, Oscar November Victor Stroke Portable, over. I repeat, Delta Kilo number five, Oscar November Victor Stroke Portable Station, over. He's calling you, Delta Kilo five, do you copy him? Okay, the portable station, Delta Kilo five again. Delta Kilo, number five, Oscar, November, Victor, stroke portable, over, over. Okay, Delta Kilo at five, Oscar, November, Tango, is that correct? Negative, negative, the last letter is a Victoria, a Victor, over. Okay, Delta Kilo at five, Oscar, November, portable, Andy, QSL. Delta Kilo five, Oscar, November, Victor, Oscar, November, Victor, stroke portable, over, over. Thank you very much for the 56. You are 57. You are 57 at my portable setup. A very good job. Okay, many thanks for the 5 and 7 in your portable station today. Many thanks for the contact. Welcome to the Caribbean and welcome to my log, okay? And Delta Kilo at 5, Oscar, November Victor, portable from 9Y59 and 73. Good luck. Thank you very much. Good luck on your activation, 73s. Thank you. Who's Echo Alpha 
How about that from Gunter? DK50 and being German. It's good work. That's good work. When you consider all the physical labor it took him just to get there, three miles uphill, and then he's got to go home with all that stuff, and he's got to put it away. And that's how much ham radio means to him and to many people around the world who can't work from a QTH. It's just, it's, it's restricted. You can't put an antenna there. But they make the most of it. That's Gunter. And I'm really proud of him. That's an amazing job. You know, there's one thing I haven't done. No, there's a lot of things. Yeah, don't want to get into all that. But here's what we haven't done yet. We have not made a call yet on the 7610. I wanted to wait to do that with all of you. So we're going to see if we can make a couple of calls. We'll make a few CQ calls as well. We'll see if we can say hello to you today on Hammer Radio Live. Here we go. Let me move this. Sorry, guys. There we go. I think it's uh, Tango Exchange. Okay, I got your call right. Hey, thank you. Uh, Kim, where is there anyone else in Washington? W6 Kilo Hotel. Yes, I told you about the Washington State Salmon Run, how big that is. <laughs> Here's one of those. Okay. Seven, people Mike working that, that, that contest. So we'll move. <laughs> it's contest weekend. You know, you're going to make calls. Yeah, I think we'll call CQ. You know, let's do that. Let's make it more fun. Let's call CQ and just make it more fun, okay? Let me move. We're going to move up. That way generals can take part. Let me just check, make sure we're not stepping on anybody. I first want to listen, make sure we're not going to, you know, be all over somebody else. All right, so we're using today the Grayland Performance antenna. We haven't used flagpole in a long time. So we're using a, just a simple flagpole. Let's see how we do is this frequency available? This is Kilo 7 Hotel, no member. Okay, we'll get that fixed on the audio part. I just need to see where we're at power wise. And let me check SWR. Checking frequency availability. This is Kilo 7 Hotel, November. Okay, 14327. I don't hear anybody, so we'll see. Let me check one more thing ALC. Checking frequency availability. This is kilowatt seven hotel November. Got it. Perfect. All right, fourteen three two seven. We'll call some CQs. We'll see if we make a quick call with you. If we can't, we'll chase and make some calls. We'll see if we can make that first call in the seventy six ten. Here we go. CQ CQ kilo seven hotel November. Calling CQ and listening. Okay, so you got a net at three two eight. Okay, I can't hear that net here. It's just too far for for me, so we'll move. Scott, welcome to the show. Kilo Charlie 2, Charlie Alpha Delta from the north side to the west side of the tracks near the old lady's house. Welcome to Ham Radio Live. Good to see you. All right, so we'll move to, let's let's go to 3, 4, uh, I don't like being on even numbers. Let's go to 337, okay? Let me check frequency again at 337. Give me just a moment here. Checking frequency availability. This is Kilowatt 7 Hotel November. Just changing things out to make sure I'm okay. Checking frequency availability. This is kilowatt seven hotel November. All right, we should be good to go. Let me try it and we will make a CQ call or two. Hopefully be there and hopefully we can make a call with you. 14.337 on 20 meters. Here we go. CQ, CQ calling, Kilo 7 Hotel November, Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ, CQ, any station, anywhere. We're streaming live on Ham Radio's YouTube channel called Ham Radio Live. 
and we'd love to make a call with you. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November, Kilowatt 7 Hotel November, calling CQ on 20 and listening. miss anybody so i'm not going to use the amplifier here folks we're just going to run barefoot so 100 watts on the icom 7610 using the grand line performance flagpole antenna today cq calling cq calling kilo 7 hotel november kilo 7 hotel november calling cq 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 any station anywhere from the pacific northwest of oregon and streaming on ham radio live this is kilo 7 hotel november kilo 7 hotel november calling cq on 20 and standing by Well, those aren't good things. No? Tell you what. Um, current conditions do support uh, 17. Let's move. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. We're going to go QSY to 17 meters. Kilo 7 Hotel November, QSY. All right. Let's just move. I can tell you the one thing I love about this transceiver right out of the box is it just sounds pure. It really has a pure sound to it. All right, so we're at 18.140 megs. Let me quickly tune and make sure we're good. But first, we'll check frequency, make sure no one's here. Is this frequency available? This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. And we can always switch to the DX Commander next, so we'll see. Checking frequency availability, Kilo 7 Hotel, November. I see a trail. You know, there's a little trail there. Yeah, we're going to move. Let's go to 45. Okay, 18145. There was a little trail there, and it's something I just couldn't hear the person. So let's go 18145, and hopefully no one there. We'll see. Is this frequency available? This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Again, always check frequency before you tune. I have made that mistake a million times. I don't hear anybody. We'll just quickly tune. Again, we're just simply tuning a little flagpole antenna right in the front of the yard. And that's it. Let me check SWR here real quick. CQ, CQ, 17 meters. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ, CQ, we're streaming live on YouTube's Ham Radio Live. And we'd love to make a call with you. This is Kilowatt 7 Hotel November Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ to any station, anywhere, and listening. Again, 18.145 on 17 meters. We'll try one more, and then uh, we may just switch antennas. We'll see how that one goes. CQ, CQ on 17, Kilo 7 Hotel November, Kilowatt 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ, CQ, from the Pacific Northwest of Oregon and streaming on Ham Radio Live on YouTube. This is Kilo 7, Hotel November. Kilo 7, Hotel November, calling CQ and listening. All right. So let's switch antennas. If you take a look, if you take a look here, because uh, I have both antennas hooked up. Take a look at the top left. You see antenna 2? That's the DX, that's the flagpole antenna. We move to one. Okay, now we're on the DX Commander, all bend, classic vertical. We'll tune, hang on. So just tuned on uh, 17, let's see how we get out now. 
Okay. And I'll check. You'll see the meter change because I'm checking different things when I'm transmitting the first time through. So bear with me. Just watch the meter change. I want to check my, first of all, I want to make sure that I've got no huge SWR curve. <laughs> like I'm banging it. The second thing I want to check is I want to make sure and check that my LC is right. The third I'm looking for is my power. So here we go. CQ, CQ on 17. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ, CQ, any station anywhere from the Pacific Northwest of Oregon and streaming live on YouTube's Ham Radio Live. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ on 17 and standing by. So that's the X Commander. And again, propagation isn't the best. We may find our best at 40 meters today. Okay, so nothing heard on 17 in Wisconsin, nothing on 20 in Florida. We'll give one more call. CQ, CQ on 17. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilowatt 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ, CQ to any station anywhere. Live on Ham Radio, live on YouTube, and streaming to the world, this is Kilo 7 Hotel November, calling CQ on 17 and listening. All right, there you go. All right, so 40 is going to be too short for anybody that's, you know, very far from you, like, you know, and somewhere over the Rockies. <laughs> so let me go ahead. Listen, hold on. It's almost like someone is there, but I just can't make them out. All right. So I don't really see much going on right now on 17. There's someone right over here. Hold on. Uh, capacitors that are, you know, the little decoupling and bypass caps made out of wax paper and, you know, those little cardboard tube ones. You know what I'm talking about. Those things were junky when they were new, lad. Kilo 7 Hotel November for a quick one. Real close in value, if not the same value. So uh, that's not a problem. Most of them have pretty, pretty common electrolytic values and um, Some over here too. Uh, it, you gotta worry about broken parts. That... Hey, you see, you can see the FT8 guys. There's the FT8s right there. <laughs> they're they're all right there. There's FT8. For folks that are new, FT8 digital mode works differently than HAM. Obviously, it's, it's digital mode. just makes communication a communication to see how well you're getting out. That's it. Great way to build up your contacts. Good to talk to you. I'm glad you're getting back in the hobby. K7, PWN, KB5, YM. Kilo 7, Hotel November. Okay, Ben. Sorry, thank you. Okay, Station Hotel November. Yes, uh, this is Kilo Seven Hotel November. Name is Larry Lima Alpha Romeo Romeo Yankee QTH Independence Oregon. You're coming in here at a five seven fifty seven, and I have your call sign as Kilo Bravo Five Yankee November. Is that correct? Uh, yes, Larry, that is correct. Uh, my name is Jim. Mike. I'm near Waco, Texas. Robert. Well, isn't that something, Jim? Let me tell you, I, it was just meant to be this way because uh, this, I, this is the first QSO I've made on this ICOM 7610, and it came from Conroy, Texas. So I, I'm grateful that the first call went back to Texas. That's pretty cool. A great, a great signal. Great signal. I'm just running barefoot here off the DX Commander Classic antenna in my backyard. It's at 30 feet. What are your working conditions there? Over. Okay, Larry, are you speaking at 5.7? Uh, I'm running a, a Kenwood 590. 
had a Tokyo amplifier, 600 watt, nice. uh, three element beam, at 45 feet. Ah, there we go. That beam is doing the trick, and that's a great transceiver. I love the 590. It's such a good rig. Well, Jim, I'm going to not hold you. I want to tell you, you're live on a YouTube channel. It helps to encourage people to come into ham radio, and I know there's some QSB, so I'll cut it short. I'll give you 73, and I'll send the YouTube link to your QRZ email. From the state of Oregon, thank you so much. Kilo Bravo 5 Yankee November. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. God bless you and yours, Jim. Thank you so much for making the call. Okay, Larry. Well, I'm sorry. Tell uh, me again about the YouTube uh, situation. I think I got it, but uh, would you tell me again about that? Over. Yeah, the name of the show is called Ham Radio Live. Ham Radio Live. QSL? Okay. And uh, you're going to send me a link? Yeah, I'll just send it to your QRZ email as soon as the show is over, so you can uh, hear how you sounded over here in Oregon. How's that sound? Okay. Well, hey, that'd be interesting. I appreciate that, uh, Larry. So, anyway, hey, thanks for the contact, and thanks for that. Uh, I'll be looking forward to that. Anyway, uh, 73, K7 Hotel, November, is KB5, YN73, Larry. 73 to you too, Jim. Thanks a lot. This Kilo 7 Hotel, November, will be QSY to 20. Okay, thank you. There you go. So that is Jim, Kilo Bravo 5, Yankee November. And that does, for new hams, that does tell you something that's important. It, it'll let you know just about how far a certain meter band might be working. Okay, so now I know Waco. Waco's right about 1,500 miles away. So 1,500 miles away on 17. 20? Not sure. But we can, we can find out if we, where are we at here? We're at uh, 41 minutes. We're still time. Let's see if we can make a call here on 20 real quick. All right, let's move over to 20 meters and we'll see if we can say hello to somebody there. Should be a lot of contesters. <laughs> a ton of contesters on 20. And this is where I do just like to use the mouse because it's just simple to find people. Coming into somebody right there. California. Nice signal. Roger, what is there? County, please. Again, contest weekend. Repaint Kilo in the uh, sex rainy air. Radio November, looking for Washington and Texas. Yep. <laughs> Guys, pretty close. This is Whiskey Six Golf. Whiskey Six Golf. Special event station, Route 66 on the air. Gotta do this, you know. CQ, hello, CQ. CQ, CQ, hello, CQ. This is Whiskey Six Golf. Whiskey Six Golf. Special event station, Route 66 on the air from Flagstaff, Arizona. Standing by and listening. Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo Echo 7 X-ray, you are 5 by 6, Flagstaff, Arizona. My name is Nick, November India Charlie Kilo, QSL. Uh, Nick, correction on the call sign, Kilo 7 Hotel November. Uh, Kilo Echo 7 X-ray, uh, say again, please. Correction, Kilo 7 Hotel November, Kilo 7 Honolulu, Norway. Uh, Kilo 7 Station, stand by, please. Kilo Echo 7 X-Ray, uh, say again, please. I swear he was talking to me, so, you yeah, know, that's how we know. Okay, and, and what is your name again? Very good, Andy. Uh, you are, I'm going to bump you up to 5-9. Uh, uh, so, uh, you were loud on my last two. So, very good. Thank you for the call. And uh, uh, do you need anything else from me? Okay, Andy, 73. You are Zed with you 6 golf. Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November. You are 5-6, Flagstaff, Arizona. 
My name is Nick November, India, Charlie Kilo, QSL. QSL, Nick, nice to meet you. Sorry for calling, causing that QRM to you. That was, I thought you were trying to call me, so please forgive me. How's the contest going? We're streaming live now on YouTube, by the way. How's your contest going? Uh, everything is fine, I guess. We're not really in a contest. Uh, we're just doing our special event. Uh, can I get uh, a signal for your name at stake? Go ahead. Yeah, no problem, Nick. You're coming in at 57, 57, 5 and 7. And uh, my state, Independence, I'm in Oregon, state of Oregon. Over. QSL, and what is your name? My name is Larry, Lima Alpha, Romeo, Romeo, Yankee. Very good, Larry. Thank you very much for coming back to my call. Thank you for participating in uh, Route 66 on the air. QRZ, Whiskey 6 Golf. There you go. There you go. And and there were some things I did that I should probably tell you while we're doing this, okay? One of the, the, one of the things I found with the 7300 that works with the 7610 is when you adjust the main uh, RF, your RF, you know, you adjust it up, you're going to knock out the, the, the sound, and you're going to bring the signal up. That's why I told him 57. I knew it was right about a 5.7. If I moved out the noise to that level... He became much quieter. Take a listen real quick, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I've just moved up the AF gain to where he was at. Very good, Mike. Thank you for the call, and uh, have a hear good that? day today. QRZ, Whiskey 6 Golf. So that you don't hear a lot of the hash. And the reason why is because you simply are adjusting up the RF just a little bit. The RF gain, you're riding it up until you get to right about where his signal's at. So there you go. A couple calls quick on the 7610. So glad to have this thing. Really, really up. All right, folks, final comments, and then we will ski daddle out of here. Want to say hi to Rob? Rob, I want to apologize, dude. We did a show, I think you were here Saturday, and I kept saying, hey, mate, good to see you, mate. I, I couldn't remember your name. I'm so sorry, Rob. Forgive me. Rob's call signs, Kilo 8, India Bravo X-Ray. My apologies, and thank you for coming back. <laughs> Appreciate it, mate. <laughs> thanks, Rob. Rob, thanks, Rob. Andy, my mate in the UK. Man, it's great to see you. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks, Andy. I'm always grateful you're here, Andy. I mean that. I hope you know that for sure. You usually write first in. Usually write in. That's why when Andy, whoever comes in first always gets this. Because they're first. They're fast. They're like roadrunners. So Andy's usually, fast. usually that guy. And thank you. Yeah, it's it's been a brilliant rig. I mean, I really like it. So we're working on it. We're working on it. I'm learning as we're going because I don't have much time to play radio. I have so much else to do. So there you go. Patriot Canadian ham enters the house with a big old fashion. Hey, eh? hurry up batter. <laughs> it's going to be a short game and I got to get home for lunch. Oh, it's good to see you. Welcome to the show. Thank you. It says touch one more time to reduce the scope. Yeah. I'm actually, to be honest, playing with the scope. I really am. I'm doing a little bit of learning as we're going. So yeah, that was a choice I used before we did the show today, Andy, just the way it was. He said he could hear Nick call. That's cool. Yeah. And it worked out on the, on the route 66. Mike has worked that as well. Mike, congratulations. You've also worked that special event station. Kilo Delta 2 Sierra X-ray Delta all the way in Jacksonville, Florida. That's a long haul. Good work. Good work. Also want to quickly say uh, Rob in, in uh, Michigan is hearing Whiskey 6 Golf there. Congratulations. Good. Kevin O'Doublehand all the way from the Emerald Isle in Ireland's here. Wow. Hi, Kev. <laughs> it's great to see you, mate. Gosh, it's great to see you. Kev, I'm so happy you're here. Thank you for coming tonight. What a treat. What a treat. It's been a great show. Has I've enjoyed spending time with all you guys. The 7610 for me is going to take some time. It's a new radio, a different operating system. Remember, I've been with Yesu a long time, and this is just different. The one thing I can tell you I love about it is just how clean it sounds. Let's move. We're going to quickly move signals. A lot of special events going on, a lot of contesting. This looks like a contest, the way the, the waterfall is moving. Let's click over. We'll just listen real quick. I'm sure it's a contest looking for Washington Salmon Run. I'm running an L4, which is, you know, QRP. By the way, Rob, great, great rig. 7300, loved mine. Did. Took it to Hawaii with me. It's a great radio. It's a fantastic. Mike in Jacksonville, also in the 7300. Very good rigs. They are. For the money, you can't beat that rig. You can't. 
Well, this guy does, um, doesn't sound like we're dealing with a contester. Maybe we're just dealing with somebody that's, you know, just talking and making the reg shoot. Who knows? See what this guy over here is doing. Let's listen. Thank you, Washington and Texas. Thank you, Washington and Texas. Yeah. Okay. Romeo, Romeo, November. Kilo, okay. it's Elite Six. Radio, Radio, November. Looking for Washington and Texas. All right. So the reason you're hearing that for people that might be new to amateur radio, and that's cool, we get it. They're only looking for calls that coming from Washington State or Texas. Reason why? Texas QSO party is going on right now. That's a contest. And the Washington State Salmon Run. I keep on bumping the camera. Sorry. Washington State Salmon Run is also going on, which is a big contest in Washington State. So, sorry about that. Sorry about bumping the camera. I, I literally, I, I have no room. There are boxes all behind me. There's not much room to move. I'm kind of stuck here. So, anyway, thanks for watching today. Appreciate you being here. I really do. My goal, let me explain to you um, what the hope is here, okay? My hope is surgery is Tuesday, and after that, we'll be in a sling. So, see how it goes. And my hope is to be able to still continue to do shows one-handed. We'll see if we can do it. But my hope is try and make it to show 299 if we do have to move to Phoenix. We'll know next week about the Phoenix move if we have to go. And then a lot of stuff has to happen. But it'll happen. There's, you know, nah, it'll be okay. So, it's going to be okay. But... My hope is to continue doing the shows. So my hope will be to be here tomorrow to see all of you then. I want to say a special early birthday greeting to my best buddy from grade school, Alonzo Smith. Alonzo, if you're watching, happy birthday, brother. Good to see you. I hope you got your card, man. Yeah, Alonzo and I have known each other since the sixth grade. He was the first friend I had at the grade school I moved to when I was in sixth grade. Alonzo. My best buddy. Also with cancer, by the way, at the Mail Clinic in Rochester. So perhaps if we have to move to Arizona for Mail Clinic to care of Bob, Alonzo may be moving in with us. We'll see. All right, guys, we're going to let you scoot. Thank you for coming. We appreciate you very much. And that means a lot to me. Comment here. Flat Twin Frog. First timer on the channel. Welcome. Thanks for coming. Nice comment. Let's take a look. Evening. Great to see your rig in full screen. It helps us learn the basics. I'm still struggling to tune my mag loop and IC705. Keep up the great job. The 73D Manny. Oh my gosh. Two Echo Zero Hotel Juliet November from Essex, UK. Thank you so much for being here, man. I am really honored. And I, that hurts. I mean that. Wow. Thank you for coming today. So, all the way from the UK, Manny, it means a lot to me. So thank you for being here. Mike says, I have two 7300s, one for QTH and one for portable, like used for field day and POTA. Great way to use them, man. Yeah, I had the 7300 and the 991 Alpha. used it for the same reasons. I tried to do the FTDX10, and it'll do it. Do, it'll do fine, but it just, I don't know. It, it just was, um, I think if I was going to do remote, I like the 7300 as well. So I, I totally understand. Yeah, 991A is good too because it works all bands. 7100, right? You can do that. Works good. You know, whatever you want to use, but get out there and work like Gunter. Yeah. I know, don't do that because he's, that dude is crazy. Pulling a bicycle uphill and stuff. He just loves ham radio. And I really admire him very much. I don't mean he's crazy. I mean, he's incredible. So we're going to give you a sign off today. We have never done. This one's from the Middle East. It is not even a sign off. I'll be honest. It is a sign on. It's how it comes when you first, you know, watch television from the snow when it used to be in the old days and they would come on the air. The reason I do these, just to understand, there's two little things. I told somebody this week in the email, I can't remember which one it was the emails. There's two, there's two elements of the show that are, that are totally personal to me. The first one is an away we go. Away we go to start the show. That's my grandmother. She always used to say that when I was a child and we go in her car, 61 Corbair. Still remember that car. And away we go. And that was her. So that is to honor my grandmother. The last part is because I grew up watching TV sign ons. I, I was, my mother wouldn't let me stay up late enough to watch them sign off. So we would watch them. I'd watch them sign on. So I knew when every station in Portland would sign on the air. Yep. That was fun for me. That was my love of broadcasting. So we're going to watch a Saudi Arabia TV sign on today to close the show. Whole idea is to help you get in the amateur radio contact the radio society, of great Britain. They're great mates and they will lock you up with a great ham club nearby 
to get you licensed. Find them online at www.rsgb.org and they will get you into ham radio. Until next time, wherever you may be, God bless you. And thank you for watching Ham Radio Live. Goodbye, everybody. You're not gonna make it, and you gotta get mean. I mean, plum mad dog mean.